back to some more Fort Smith Sport 4 today. We're continuing on. Let's play. This is episode 19. In today's episode, we are taking a look at the Toyota Sprinter Terreno spec series. For that, we need a Toyota Sprinter Terreno, and luckily, we have one in our garage. Let's go! Uh, did I have to be here for that? No, I kind of wish I didn't either. Toyota Sprinter Terreno spec series. A spec series featuring Toyota's lightweight rear wheel drive Sprinter Terreno GT Apex. Twin ring Motegi East Circuit. That's not the course I remember this being on, but okay. Mm. Just for context, before everyone moans in the comments section, if you like this car, don't watch this episode because we don't like this car. I don't we want to don't. drive this. I hate this car. It's a piece of shit. But, you know. I don't hate it, but I really don't like it. Worst Toyota ever made. Not really. But... Yaris. No, the Yaris isn't that bad a car. The Yaris isn't actually that bad a car. Starlet. The T Sport's a bad car. Well, that's besides the point. Just isn't. I'm sorry. It can... It's a bit pathetic of what it's supposed to do. What do you expect out of a fucking Yaris? Well, I mean, the turbo existence. The turbo's better. Well, yeah, but they weren't natively sold. Power! How much power does this fucking Sprinter Apex Traino make? 141. Also, I'm going to say it wrong on purpose, because I don't know how to say it right. That's the best way to go around life, isn't it? Yeah. Let's so see what Azza Takahashi does in this race. Oh god, actually, it's another Toyota. He could try and murder someone. <laughs> yeah, Skosh, and that's our name for him now, by the way. Nice. We have Azza Takahashi because when we were driving Yaris's earlier, he literally tried to kill someone. And as we all know, Toyotas and Azza don't mix. No. Well, cars in general and Azza don't mix. Okay, never mind. I've just found something cool in this car's interior. What? Automatic air conditioner. <gasps> what makes That's it cool. automatic? It's just a shame it's attached to the rest of the car. Yeah. The car that makes a horrible noise looks the four cylinder, what do you expect? Boring. Drives kind of boring. No discernible features. What's this car been in? Oh, it was in a shit post once. Anyone remember that shit post? No. Toyota.mp4. Oh yeah. Great video. If I do say so myself. Well, it's a bit pointless now. Considering Toyota's back. And better than ever. Well, yeah, better than ever, actually, because they finally ditched this fucking car. Hopefully it never comes back. <laughs> oh, that's a good damage model in this game. Good. Let's see if Move we can it. figure that one out a bit more. Yeah, it's actually got pretty good defamation. <laughs> Come here, Azza. Yeah, defamation oh. on this oh, car. Oh, you did. Actually, pretty good. So that's one thing nice about it, at least. Yeah. They put a lot of effort into making this car really easy to just break. I mean, quite frankly, in the words of Limp Biscuit. There is those days when you don't want to wake up. Everything sucks, everybody's fucked. You don't really know why, but you want to justify ripping someone's head off. No human contract. And if you interact, your life is on contract! Oh. And the other reason why I don't like the GT86. 88 6, sorry. The GT86 is an excellent car. Cool car, yeah. 88 6, not so much an excellent car. <laughs> Although, then again, I do have one of these on my main account, and that's pretty cool. Why? Because it has a million horsepower. Oh. Sorry, a billion horsepower. Yeah, it makes a million stop. It crashes the game when you try and load it. <laughs> it also has no bonnet. Good. So you can see all of the glories to the engine bay. What else was Hello. Hey. Oh no. Oh yes. We're driving the worst car in the world. I need more. The Toyota GT Apex Sprinter Truno. 
Oh. Fair enough. He's pretty bad. Have you bought a Peugeot yet? No. No. Oh god. We've got money in Christmas. You're gonna buy a good car yet? No. I spent money in Christmas. Can't wait for you to come back around and be like, hey guys, I bought a Corsa VXR Nürburgring Edition, what do you think? No. <laughs> you say that, that sounded unwavering. I that sounded like you wanted a, Cor a Corsa VXR Nürburgring Edition. Uh, uh, no, that sounds like a lie. <laughs> the, 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 the car's real. Yeah. I had some... I, when I had the Subaru, I got eyed up by a bunch of people in the course of Nürburgring edition. Okay. He, he's giving me side art. Because that's one of the advantages of opening an Imbrezza. Well, it's slow as fuck. Mm -hmm. People sort of look at it because, like, coarser people and all that are, like, slightly jealous. Of the fact that you've actually got an Imbrezza and they haven't. Yeah. Because they can't ensure in practice. I mean, they don't have to know it's like a 1.5. No one realizes it is. Because no one knows that they didn't in practice so shit. I know. It amazed the fucking guy at work when I told him. Because I had a manager come up to me and he's like, Oh, you got in practice now, isn't it fast? I was like, Yeah! <laughs> sure! <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I mean, you know. I've come. I was like, I've come from a 1.1 Panda. I mean, you know, anything's quick compared to that. Again. Anything's fast, yeah. Apart from the Even one then, liter Polo. It wasn't that much fast. I did have a one liter Polo that did zero to sixty in like eighteen and a half seconds. So. Isn't it weird how I've managed to like yeah. double my zero to sixty two by quadrupling horsepower? Yes. Yeah. Weird how it works. Quadrupling horsepower and tripling torque because it's a Honda. Yeah, who needs torque? Torque's not important. Well, you can't say that. Torque's the only thing your car's made of. It's, <laughs> it's a diesel. For now. Well, you see, for now, it's always going to be a diesel. <laughs> My next car I don't know, would someone be a diesel. Like, did, did I ever show you that weird DS3 racing that like someone had swapped from petrol to diesel? I saw that. Oh yeah. Yes. Someone had switched to. Someone a might diesel. do that to your Saab yet. They might like put in like a 1.9 petrol or something. Well, they're gonna yeah. improve it. From a, uh, like a 1.9 from a Vectra or something. And be like, hey, it's better now. But no, it mate. Isn't it funny how most people say how reliable Vauxhalls is, like, but if you go on Auto Trader, half of the things are like, oh, the shell's got 200,000 miles on it and the engine's got 100,000 on it. <laughs> There's a lot of Vauxhalls with, like, junkyard engines in them. A lot of them. Yes! Yeah, let's that from factory. Listen, everyone I know who's had a Vauxhall is broken. Apart from one. I've known someone with I a Vectra. Car, I know someone with Vectra in the engine seas. There was someone with Ferro when the head gasket went. He spent 1500 quid repairing it. And then it blew up again within two months. Um, what was the other one? There was also another car. I can't remember what that was. We had a Vectra VXL. I know you had a Vectra VXL. Worst car in the world. It didn't. It didn't die. I wish it did. <laughs> it crashed it. Oh, of course you did. Didn't did you try yeah. going around the roundabout and like accidentally press the throttle slightly? No, it was on the ice. And we tried to turn the wheel and. All right, well, <laughs> <laughs> you do a Jerry Clarkson, just go full lock, press the throttle, and fire straight. No, we didn't even press the throttle. We just turned the wheel and it went straight on into the thing. So. Okay, so we found out the A86 has a good deformation model, and all voxels go to hell eventually. Good episode. Terrible car. And it just killed Azza. Oh. <laughs> like the moment it crosses the line. But hey, at least yeah. we're 75% off our affinity with Toyota. Which is good. Is it? Yep. And that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time we're going to be taking a look at the Mustang Classic Club. So join us for that. Until then, farewell. You Dreams.